Students at California Western School of Law are taking on more than their studies. They say they're trying to set an innocent man free. For the next year, 12 students will be looking for innocent people who are currently behind bars. Their goal is to free them. The case I started working on, I think we could get this guy out of prison. What has she found out? What can we work with? There's a sampling of some clothing that has semen samples on it. California has more people in prisons than any other state in the nation. There are going to be dozens of innocent people who hopefully they will be able to liberate. Innocence Project, it attracted me because what it stands for. Yeah, I like the underdog. Hundreds wrote the school hoping their case was classroom worthy. Serious crimes like rape. Things can get pretty heavy when you're discussing murders, rapes, and robberies. That possibly innocent man is Robert Steve Wells. Students reviewed his case and found the evidence just didn't fit the crime. He was convicted of murdering his girlfriend. Things don't add up here. If we could just have a DNA test done, we would know one way or another if it was the other guy who's running free right now or if it's our guy who's in prison. Kendall had a solid alibi. I don't think he did it. A videotape that placed him across town. When he sentenced me, I felt like my whole world collapsed. Okay, we're talking about 70 years of life. That's like never coming home. I would die in prison. As a second year student, it's a lot of pressure to take this on. But if we don't, I don't know who will. On top of searching for new evidence, new witnesses, these students will also look to perfect an imperfect system. The facts of the case are it was a walk-up gang shooting in L.A. I think the highlight is knowing that the, the work that you're doing in whatever role you play is that somebody who's wrongfully convicted is going to get out and get their life back. This is the end of the legal line for 60-year-old John Stahl. The last chance for him to clear his name. Adam's case just made no sense. I never lost hope. He spent 13 years behind bars for a murder he didn't commit. I came home. It was the joy of my life. My family cried. I cried. Free at last. Um, my heart's just a pounding away. <laughs> It feels really good to know that he finally got out. What I wanted to do was come to law school so I can change things.